Right, it's um, four o'clock in the morning. Still dark out there. And yeah, I'm up and about early. Couldn't sleep, wide awake. So I thought I'd come down. I had some split peas soaking. So they're now being turned into a split pea soup that I am going to can up in the instant pot. So I've got the jars ready, got the instant pot ready, lids are soaking. So I'm just warming this through enough um, to get it on the go. And I'm watching Three Rivers Homestead while I'm in the kitchen working. Right, I'm tentatively making starts in the polytunnel. Um, this is the one I grow all the tomatoes and peppers and that in. Um, all the insulation is up, it's been up for a while now. And the borders have all been top dressed with the contents of the uh, compost bins. Still got plenty of rocket, plenty of lettuce. Um, I've got the two mushroom beds on the go. Uh, this side is portabella and that side is button mushrooms. Haven't done anything with this bed yet. More lettuce is there. And, um, and of course this is the asparagus bed. So soon we shall start seeing the asparagus popping up. So and apart from that, there's not really anything else going on in here. Got a few rogue sweet peas there, which I might just pop over to the sides and let them do their thing. Um, so the plan this year is that side is going to be filled with tomatoes this year. And this side is going to be filled with peppers. Um, that's what my um, thinking is so this tunnel is almost ready to go and these beds here I'm dividing them in half I'm just using some slates so I'll have these and that one there and I filled it um, and these I'm going to be using for some squashes uh, so so that's the plan there and it might be that I use the the one that the lettuce is in as well we shall see but I'm going to have some frames go up that I can fasten up to the top there and then train the squashes to climb up um, these two beds outside this polytunnel they've got uh, garlic in so, and they're just covered over to keep the um, birds off they're actually starting to. I was a bit late getting them in, but better late than never. And they're actually just starting to put their shoots up now. A different sort in each bed. So in this polytunnel, we're still finishing off with our winter veg. There's still kale, there's beetroot, bok choy. These ones are all finished with now. Sprouts. Um, I've been picking sprouts and getting them in the freezer. Um, some spinach, Swiss chard, and of course I picked a load of that yesterday to go in soup. There's a few red onions down the sides here. Bunches of celery down there. Got the um, Harris fence panel frame put in yesterday and I'm going to be planting the peas along it um, so they're on the list to get done today and I've got a few spare onions so I'm going to plant up the rest of the bed with onions and again this is all this has all come from the um, the compost heap and it's all sitting on top of cardboard so yeah so it's all coming along fine
Hi there, I'm um, winding up my first seven days, my first week of the um, preserving challenge I've set to myself. And I'm winding it up by making uh, an elderflower cordial with some of the dried elderflower heads. These were dried back late spring, early summer when they were out. Um, and of course, we're not long before we come back up to that season again, so we've got to get them used up so we can then store some more fresh ones. So I'm doing a elderflower cordial and it's one unwaxed washed lemon sliced up in the jar. That's a lemon that's been sitting there in the fridge. Um, one and a half teaspoons of citric acid. If you don't want to add citric acid, um, it won't last as long. I'm adding citric acid because I want it to last me a good while. Um, but without citric acid, you would have to keep it in the fridge and use it sort of within three weeks. With citric acid, of course, it will last that bit longer. So that's the citric acid. That is two cups of sugar with two cups of water, which is heated together until the sugar's devolved and left to cool. And that is our syrup. I'm just pouring a bit in there. Okay. Add a quarter of a cup of elderflower heads. And you can actually see all the pollen on the side of the jars off it. And pour in the rest of the syrup. Pop a lid on. I'm going to give it a give it a shake. Now this is going to go into the fridge for 72 hours because um, I like, I'd like a quite a strong flavour from it. And then after 72 hours, it's going to get strained through a cheesecloth. Um, and I will um, pop it into the liquid then into another jar. But yes, there we go. Elderflower cordial. So all of um, this week's um, preserving videos. Uh, this is uh, video number seven. This one will be when it's done. Um, I will. I'll pop some links down below, going through all the different ones this week of what I've done. Um, I'm just sort of trying to think now. I've done. There's been a bit of canning. A bit of water bath canning, some dehydrating, um, and a bit of fermenting. And the whole point is, I'm just going to try and do something every day for the next 28 days, uh, using up what we've got and preserving food. So, filling up the, the pantry shelf, ready for the, the coming seasons. Um, so this is this is just my own 28 day food preserving challenge. So I hope you'll pop along and have a look at all the others. They're all this is all just little short videos I've been putting up. Um and um yeah, and maybe if you are doing some preserving as well, let us know and um in the comments and then we can pop along and have a look at yours as well. So take care, everybody, and I will catch up with you again next week with, as you can see, more progress on the kitchen over there, as all the beams have now been clad. So don't forget to hit subscribe, hit that like button, give us a thumbs up, um, and, you know, please feel free to leave comments and uh, share your own channels, share your own preserving journeys or your own homesteading, self-sufficiency, small holding, whatever it is you're into. 
and um, and I'll catch up with you again end of next week but with lots of little preserving videos being dropped off each day between now and the end of next week.